What's up y'all? I'm Tom and this is Like a Math Class. In this video, we're gonna talk about scientific notation. This is also called standard index form or standard index notation uh, in different parts of the world. But whatever you call it, it's all about how do we simplify or write really big numbers or really small numbers in an easier way. Let's get to it. Scientific notation, sometimes called standard index notation, like I mentioned, is a way to write really big or really small numbers. This is the form that we use for scientific notation. So let's, let's break this down just a little bit further. Here is A, this is a constant, a constant that is between one and 10. And it could be equal to one, but it's gotta be less than 10. And then K is an element of, that's what this symbol means, is an element of, and this, this kind of Z symbol is integers. So that means positive or negative whole numbers. That's what an integer is. So here are two examples. Let's put this first one, let's put this into scientific notation. So if we don't have the decimal listed, it always kind of happens, it always kind of appears out here on the, uh, the right side. And what we're going to do is we're just going to count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're gonna move 12 decimal places to the left. So this is going to be 3.245 times 10 to the 12th power. Over here on the right, what we have is 0 0.00006730001. So what we need to do is we need to move the decimal to the right one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna have 6.73001 times 10 to the negative, what do we say, six, seven power. So the thing to remember is that if you've got a really big number, then your exponent is going to go to the positive, to the positive, to the positive. If you've got a really small number, then the exponent's gonna be negative because it's gonna be getting smaller. So this thing has got a negative exponent because if we wanted to expand this back out, we would have to move it to the negative direction. If we have this number and we want to expand it back out to what we call standard form, we're moving the, de the decimal this way. So we're moving it back towards the right. Really, the thing that you have to think of is, as you already know, a positive exponent means you've got a big number, right? It's getting bigger, so positive means big. If you've got a negative exponent, we, we know from our rules of exponents video that the negative means it goes into the denominator, so it's gonna be getting smaller, right? Because if you've got a fraction and the denominator is getting bigger, then the number is getting smaller. So negative exponent means small, positive exponent means big. How might this work with an actual problem? Well, here's an example where we, without a calculator, we need to multiply these two things together and we need to write it in the form, in the scientific notation form, just like we stated up above. And we're gonna do that in the next video. So if this was helpful so far, give me a thumbs up and I'll check you in the next video.